Hey everybody, Sean here, and I hope you're doing well. The Flat Earth Theory has been popular amongst many Christians over the past decade. One of the main promoters of this is a friend of mine, Robbie Davidson. We used to have Bible studies together when I lived in Edmonton. This is a secondary issue and has nothing to do with salvation. So while it may be interesting to research and discuss this topic, there is no reason for it to cause division. Nobody is getting saved because they believe one view or another. And nobody is more or less saved because of this either. Most likely you are a Christian that was saved believing the earth was a sphere and over time changed your belief, but that didn't change anything about your salvation. And the gospel message of salvation we preach has nothing to do with this topic. You can go online and see many videos that prove this theory to be false, yet some people want to continue believing it. Mike Winger did a couple of good videos debunking this theory. But I find it interesting when people put so much time and money into proving something and it ends up backfiring on them as we read in this article's headline. The Jerusalem Post had the original article on this. In the Netflix film Behind the Curve, apparently someone invested about $20,000 to produce an experiment to prove the flat earth concept. And I'll leave a link to this page so that you can watch that short video yourself. But the researcher set up an experiment within a dark room, capturing a light beam passing through two holes in parallel walls. On the opposite side, a person with a flashlight would direct the light through the holes with a camera position 5 meters above the ground and 15 meters away from the flashlight. If the light reached the camera, it would indicate equal distances between the flashlight holes and camera above the ground, supporting the notion of a flat earth. Conversely, if the light remained unseen and required an elevated flashlight position, it would imply varying distances from the ground and suggest a spherical earth. So the outcome of the experiment showed that the light failed to reach the camera when placed at the same height of 5 meters above the ground. And the flat earth person uncomfortably muttered, interesting, very interesting. This unexpected revelation highlighted the contradiction between the researchers' expectations and the actual results. So, what's the point of this video today? I wanted to take this opportunity to say, don't let the enemy use our differences on this topic to cause division. That's not of God. If we are born again, then we are brothers and sisters in Christ, and we can agree to disagree on this topic. Let's stick together in these last days, preach the gospel to others, and share the truth about Jesus. Not much more to be said, so please leave your comments below, and until next time, take care and God bless.